Sir. Frank, good to see you. How is solitary? Ah, you know, peaceful. More significantly, how are things on the outside? Cigarette? No, thanks, sir. Our best bet is Switzerland, sir. Switzerland? We hadn't given that much consideration. Most of the lads were thinking of going up through France or down to Spain. Switzerland's the closest, sir. Before I got picked up because he liked Constance and the Swiss border, there's a smaller bridge which isn't heavily guarded. If a man had the right papers, he'd be home free. It can't be any more than 80 kilometers from here. It is tantalizingly close. But once inside Switzerland, you'd have to stay there till the war was ended. It's better than having to wait here, sir. At any rate, it's easier to get men 80 kilometers to Switzerland than it is to get them all the way up to occupied France. It's an option, all right. We can discuss it at the final escape meeting tomorrow night. The final meeting? The escape is set for Thursday night. I presume you've got all the information regarding trains and buses and that type of thing. Yes, sir. How's everything else going then? Exceptionally well. We hit 220 feet this morning and now we're starting to work on the exit shaft. What about the air supply, sir? Have you seen the soccer goal posts in the exercise yard? Hmm? We've got ventilation holes in them and pipes going straight down into the tunnel. That should do the trick. Very good, sir. So we'll see you tomorrow night at half past eight and we can iron out all the details. Yes, sir. Dismissed. I only wish I was going with you. Best of luck, Frank.
Hi. Jim Burnett, Canadian Air Force. Peterson, isn't it? Yeah, Frank. Frank Peterson. Hey, that guy speaks uh, fluent German, aren't you? How's that anyway? You're Irish, aren't you? Yeah, long story. My father was German. He was a crew member aboard a German submarine that tried to land a shipment of guns in Ireland in 1916, but they were captured by the British. So he spent the rest of the war in a prisoner of war camp in Ireland. While there I met my mother. So he was a German prisoner of the British, and now you're a British prisoner of the Germans. Not for much longer, no. Uh, you got that right. This time. Better get the show on the road then. <laughs>